George, it's good to see you. And I mean, who do you think might be the first team forced to sell here? Well, I don't know that I can speculate on who the first team to sell is, but Eric is exactly right. If people lose liquidity, it's going to impact their other business interests, which could be pro sports teams. The one thing now the leagues look pretty smart at is having reasonable level of debts, having maximum debt levels really protects the financial integrity of the teams. But if the owner is in these other industries that are hard hit and they have liquidity issues, that's going to impact uh, the situation. So, Eric, you're exactly correct. George, let me ask you, because I think we're assuming that the, the owners would have to sell their teams in order to come up with uh, cash or capital for the rest of their companies or for their personal lives. What about the other way around? I mean, do they have to put money into these teams, into the athletes, into the stadiums? Uh, and if they don't have that capital available, what could that uh, consequence look like? Well, that's a difficult situation, no question. And also right now, you have an interesting dynamic with season ticket renewals which are being adjusted as well. People are buying season tickets for next year's uh, corporate sales, hospitality sales. So your, your cash flow is going to be tight if you're a team owner. And so depending on what the, where the TV revenue is, you could be, find yourself in a cash crunch. And again, those owners or teams that might be losing money and that are facing headwinds in other industries, it does present a difficult situation, no question. Yeah, Eric, same question to you. I'm also curious what you're hearing, if anything, at this point about the major fall season where obviously everyone had been assuming the football would kind of start the return of normalcy, but now maybe not so much. Right. So we knew basketball and hockey were on the hook right now. Then it was all of a sudden, hey, what happens to the baseball season? Now we're starting to hear about what happens to the football season because for college programs, that's the big money maker, And of course, the NFL is the biggest sports league in the country. But I just want to go back real quickly. So you look at the Chase Center, that new arena in San Francisco. A lot of these new arenas, they're tied into these real estate plays around the stadium. So these sports teams, they put a lot of money in to outside of the stadium investments where they were they were landlords they had all these other developments so a lot of these guys have a lot of real estate leverage too in their sports teams in addition to outside their businesses so that's going to be a trend to watch it's not just the team but it's these other actual land use properties but if you've got football questions kelly george is the guy he's <laughs> i think he's he's like a four generation nfl family there that the pines are and george you have a son headed to notre dame in the fall to play football right i mean what is he hearing at this point well, look, I think it's all systems go from an athlete standpoint. You're preparing every day, he's running and lifting every day, trying to get ready for the season, no question. And hopefully that'll be resolved before the, uh, before the fall. Um, of course, the true answer is nobody knows. And these decisions will be made by the healthcare professionals. Certainly, we're all hoping to have sports back in the fall. So final question, George, um, do you think there might be any... I mean, it's not like we're not going to know if some of these teams are sold. What about some of the smaller interests? I mean, do you think this is really going to trigger a bunch of turnover in the next couple of months, or does it depend on how long this goes on? I think it depends how long it goes. However, I'll just tell you that, you know, people are going to have liquidity issues in all businesses, and sports will not be different than that. So within the ecosystem of sports, there are going to be huge pressures for liquidity, and there is going to be dislocation, and there are going to be changes. And the severity of those changes are going to depend on how long the delay is. So if we don't, if it's three or four months, I think it's one set of circumstances. If it's six, nine, 12, or 18 months, you're looking at a very different, difficult and different situation. Yep, absolutely. Same uh, goes for everybody else, too. Guys, thanks.